The answer here is a qualified yes, says Dr. Katz, explaining that most cases of pneumonia an infection that causes the lungs air sacs to fill up with fluid are bacterial. So if you come in contact with someone suffering from bacterial pneumonia, it's possible for those bacteria to be transmitted to you, although that might not necessarily cause you to develop pneumonia. There are also types of pneumonia that are viral rather than bacterial, and those viruses are more contagious. In general, however, pneumonia is not spread nearly as readily as viral infections of the upper airway, says Dr. Katz. It also stops being contagious when Being sick often kills your appetite, force feeding won't help. What will help is staying hydrated and getting enough calories. A 2008 study in the Journal of Nutrition found that mice exposed to the flu took longer to recover and were more likely to suffer ill effects if they were on a low calorie diet. The researchers recommendation? Skip dieting until after flu season. George Bailey from It's a Wonderful Life earned a punch in the nose over this one, but would so you really have stayed healthy if her teacher had buttoned her coat? Not likely. Colds and flu are caused by viruses. They do circulate during cold weather seasons, but you are more likely to pick them up inside than out. In fact, going outside and getting more physical activity and not just during cold and flu season may help prevent sickness. In 2007, a widely circulated email recommended putting Vicks vapor rub on children's feet at night and covering them with socks to cure coughs, it became an internet sensation. The email identified the source of the miracle cure as the Canada Research Council, which prompted the National Research Council of Canada to issue a statement saying it had nothing to do with the email or its advice. Vapor rub, which is usually applied to a child's chest or throat, releases vapors that are intended to relieve cough symptoms when inhaled so it seems far-fetched that it would work if it's in your socks. Still, some fans stand by this unorthodox treatment. You'll probably feel chilly if you skip the blow dry on a cold day, but not much else will happen. Again, colds are caused by a virus. Unless you are so cold that you get hypothermia, which could make you susceptible to infection, wet hair or clothes won't increase your vulnerability. The pungent odor may keep germs spreading friends and co-workers away, but you have to actually ingest it for the health benefits. Garlic is rich in antioxidants, which boost immunity and fight inflammation. Experts recommend adding one to two cloves a day to your diet, a small enough amount that it shouldn't cause gas or acid reflux. If you're worried about the smell, try a garlic extract capsule to get the benefits without the stink.